Hey guys, Brian here. So I'd show you. Had a little storm damage the other day. Uh, we got a bunch of flooding and uh, some pretty high winds. Uh, had the chimney get blown off. The old cabin there. I don't know if I'm. I'd like to save that building, but I don't know if it'll ever happen, get the money to do it or not. Uh, the neighbor's barn over there, it blew down. Uh, that roof is on the ground. So, blew it over, collapsed it. And I got a couple of sheets of tin on the tobacco barn on the other side that are blown up. up. I'll have to get them nailed back down, but the good news is, is the shop managed to stay up so be able to get back to working on it here pretty soon maybe if it uh, this ground ever dries out so i can do some more foundation work so shop boss bailey has got a job for me so let's go check it out okay so today's job is to cut some valve release in these pistons so I'll show you how I go about doing that. Basically, I've just got a V block in the back here. And I use that because it's against the fixed jaw, so I don't ever have it moving around. So that gives me a good place to reference off of. So I can stick my piston in here. Take my block. I got this. Since these cart vices have a, a low spot in the middle where the bar goes in and out, I just put a plate in there. So I've got a flat surface for my piston to sit on and be rock, not rock and be true. And then I got the, my hold down bar that I can take and uh, put across the jaws. Make sure everything's pushed over against it. Push the wrist pin out and get it square across the end. And when I got it square, I know I'm lined up. And then all I gotta do is tighten up the vise and we're good to go. Make our cut. So I'm gonna fire up the mill. It's the last you're gonna hear me talk on this because it's, it's gonna be too loud. So I'll show you cutting these two reliefs in here and uh, we'll get this job knocked out for Bailey so he can get some more dog food.
Okay, so there they are. Got all the everything deburred and the sharp edges all filed down smooth. Now I'll just take a uh, rubber flap wheel and polish these up a little bit, and these will be ready to send off to get ceramic coated so that they'll be able to take the heat and uh, not melt down when they're running to, you know, 15, 1800 degrees. The aluminum melts at 1300. Uh, these guys stand a lot more than that, but not for a real long time, about 20 seconds. That's about all they'll have to really take the stress. So, but it's a hard 20 seconds. So, got them all cut. Thanks for watching.